My name is Rick Robles. We're with the uh, Edgewood Seminoles from San Antonio, Texas. My name is Martin Baca. I'm with Edgewood Seminoles from San Antonio, Texas also. That game was a fabulous game. I saw a good chunk of it. You guys were down in that game at the half. What was it, 18 to 6 or something like that? All right. Now, what did you do? People always wonder, how do the coaches get things turned around at halftime? What, what did you tell the kids? Well, first of all, I don't know. Uh, one of our main running backs went down with a few minutes into the game, and uh, we just had to keep, keep fighting, uh, keep on fighting for you know for him, and we are doing what we teach him to do, and uh, not to give up and play hard and get play off full quarter. So we just kept fighting on. I would imagine in something like that, there's a there's a little period of adjustment where they suddenly see, oh my gosh, he's gone, he's out of the game. It takes him a little while before it catches on. We can still do this. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, we saw that. We saw that in her face, and we had to break him out of that. And they finally did. You could see the difference in the second half when they came around and started playing the game. We started moving the ball very well, and. They came around. They came on very well. I saw, you know, technically speaking, I saw you doing a lot of, it looked like off-tackle runs. You were coming off on, on plays where you were gaining huge amounts of yardage. Why did you switch in terms of your offense, losing that top guy, to make sure you made that kind of penetration? Anything? Well, we just we just, we just played power ball, actually. Just have our lines go out and stay low and keep pushing the ball. Uh, we lost our, our, you know, our speedster, so uh, we have a lot of uh, weapons, so it's not like, you know, he was our big core of our, our game. He's our main running back, one of our best linebackers that we have. And uh, so we just had to power the ball with the other backs that we have, and the other backs stepped up, and they did a hell of a job. They seemed to be, and defensively, uh, had to be a great hit, I guess, on that one play when, the, when the, the, the Raiders were driving. What looked like these guys could still win this ball game. But you hit them hard, and I guess you recovered a fumble, and that was key. Yes, correct. That, that it was. And I mean, I don't think we blitz much throughout the game. We try to keep it as simple as possible, and it kind of worked out because the guys knew who to cover, where to go, and when the ball was back there. I mean, they attacked the ball aggressively, and they, they got after it, and we were fortunate to recover the football. Super. Well, I tell you, have you found out how the young man's doing right now? Well, they said uh, there was something with his knee and uh, his upper leg had broken, <laughs> so he might have to get transported. Uh, once we leave here, we will be going to the hospital and making sure he's a, you know, just let him know we're here for him. So yeah, well, give give him our best because Pop Warner, uh, you know, hearts and minds are out to the kid when he plays hard, he gets hurt. It's part of the game, but uh, right. we're with him. Well, guys, good luck the rest of the week, and uh, congrats on the first win. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. Yep.